like the video and subscribe right now, and the police doggo will not arrest you. Ask Reddit. You're given one superpower, however if anyone finds out you instantly die. What's your superpower, and why? When I die, I simply respawn keeping all my knowledge etc. No matter if anybody finds out about my power, I don't care. New game plus. Well don't you be stuck in an infinite death loop, if someone found out. You might want to do it like Kenny so no never remembers that you died. The ability to pull an on counterfeit $20 out of my pocket every time I reached in it. Super inconspicuous power to have, but all I gotta do for essentially infinite money is just reach in my pocket over and over again. Power works every time, regardless of if the first $20 is removed, so I could just casually reach in and out without removing anything, but a new $20 would appear every time, so by the end of the day I could pull a few hundred dollars out of my pants. Every. Single. Day. You'd have to have one hell of a laundering scheme. Edit. Obviously you don't need to think of any laundering scheme, but to make the most of an unlimited supply of cash, you'd want a less fishy way to pull in $20 per second. Just go to a casino and keep playing till you win big. No issues with the extra cash in your account then. Able to see 15 seconds into the future. Would bet money on roulette every time I need money and get duck out ta there. No one suspects but I have money whenever I need. Why don't you just make it a few hours and play the lottery? The ability to gain someone's technical knowledge by shaking their hand. Want to know how to fix cars? Shake a few master mechanics hands. Jokes on you, when you find out, no one knows what they're doing, and everyone is just making it up as they go, until you shake hands with a random co-worker and suddenly know exactly how to get away with being a serial killer. Visit CERN. Become super villain. Shake a pornster's hand and you'll learn things you've never wanted to know. I'm immortal, but my appearance also gradually changes, so people won't recognize me from pictures and paintings over time. Edit, yes, like Keanu Reeves. The best kind of immortality would be you would age normally until exactly 90 years old, then revert back to early 20s or late teens. You would just have to make sure you mysteriously disappear every time you hit 90. I like this one cause would likely work for long enough that you wouldn't mind getting caught. Sometimes you just want that sweet embrace of death. To read minds. I'd make a lot of money playing poker and everyone would just think I'm good. And you'd just have to intentionally lose every now and again. Except, everyone got the same offer. Now everyone who can read mind is dead, because they read each other's mind, discovering each other's superpower. Having a pocket universe empty of people, and out of sync with the universe's time, nothing ages and, no matter how long you spend there it's an instant of normal time, that I can enter at any time and leave at any place. People would assume it would be teleportation, and since I'd never bring anyone into it nobody would ever find out. Oh oh, unique strategy, disguise your power as another power. This would make for an interesting writing prompt. If I had a pocket universe, I'd have a burning internal conflict on how long to spend in my pocket universe. Your time is infinite in there, but since there are no people, it's unfulfilling to stay there long. Then when you're in the real world, everything seems to go by so fast, because of all the time spent in the pocket universe. I'd pop in the real world, but be overwhelmed, and go back to the pocket universe often. Choosing when to revert back and forth would be troubling, but it'd make for a good story if someone took the time to write one. So it's Camus from Naruto. Yes, yes, yes. You could put your biology book in there when you're writing a test, because it's instant nobody will notice. I'm not telling you. Luck isn't a superpower. It's not very cinematic. Yes it is. Power of no you, if someone hurts me physically or mentally I say no you, and it happens to them. Lmao, you stabbed me, eh? No you siro. If I squeeze my left pinky, whoever I'm looking at orgasms. I'm blaming last night's poor performance on you. I would abuse that power so hard. Officer, did you know how fast you were going up? Never mind. Commentator, Messi is about to score to win the World Cup. What is he doing? Oh god is he doing what I think he's doing? News anchor, on a world leader trip this afternoon, Donald Trump ejaculated mid-speech, followed by Vladimir Putin. Who else just squeezed their left pinky? Able to influence the odds of anything. 
What's the likelihood there will be a million bucks in my room when I get home? Oh I dunno maybe 100%? What's the likelihood anyone will ever figure out my power and cause my death? Oh let's set that at 0%. What's the likelihood anyone will ever figure out my power and cause my death? Oh let's set that at 0%. The easiest way for the universe to do that would be to give you a sudden heart attack. So, you would like to be Ranjesus himself. The ability to master any skill instantly be that a language or a musical instrument etc. You just have to pretend you learned quickly and pretend to pick the skill up over a month or so. This would be great until one day you're chilling in a bar showing off your language skills and a buddy goes man. You pick up stuff so fast, it's almost like that's your superpower. And then you keel over. Bingo best superpower ever. To fall asleep instantly when I want. I sleep alone so easy to hide. And because I want to sleep, but can't put down my phone. I have to wake up at 5. Duck I wish I had this power, why you gotta do this to me? To teleport when people aren't aware of me. You can't fast travel when enemies are nearby. Reminds me of invisible boy from mystery men. He can only turn invisible when no one is looking at him. As long as the caveat is they know you have a superpower, not just some teenager that's annoyed you beat them at poker. They must be cheating. I bet they can read my mind. Yeah. Finding out and making wild accusations is a totally different things. I'd choose true immortality. Then I'd prove it to people. Just to see if nature could handle the paradox. I create extreme apathy in everyone. Nothing I do matters. I could have sex with the queen on live TV while kids are decapitated behind us and the world would collectively go mad. I can get away with anything. I'll never get credit for anything though. I could walk right up and kick Kim NK in his balls. People would just go about their day. I could stroll into Fort Knox and slowly load up all the gold. Nobody would care. I'm now an invisible king. Allowed to do whatever I want, whenever I want to, but nobody cares. Meh. They asked for a superpower not an autobiography. Congratulations, you now live in the most boring universe. Noon will ever be your friend again, because they don't care about you, nor eating. In fact everyone dies of thirst. Power stops working, because people didn't show up to work, and food stops being delivered. You are now alone in the world, going up to dogs and saying, Hey look at me having fun. The dog just smiles back at you, because it doesn't know the horrors you are responsible for. You ponder the meaning of life. You laugh to yourself. Anything with Dini ability is clearly the way to go here. You could disguise a whole lot of super strength, as long as you were already a huge mother ducker. Anybody gets suspicious, and it's like of course he can lift a car. Have you seen the side of that ducker? Flashy powers like flight or shooting laser beams are out, but shape shifting would be easy. You can even get away with using it in public, as long as nobody saw the original form. They'll be seeing somebody shape shift, but never be able to know who or at the size of you, lad. Immortality. As long as there is someone else in the world, I've got a kill switch. Edit. Everyone saying people will see how I haven't aged and say I'm immortal. It's a good point. But I would just tell people that I have the ability to live up to 500 years old. They'll be dead by the time I'm 600 anyways. Earth is wiped out, but you of course survive. Over the eons you start searching the universe for intelligent life. Eventually you create life in your image just to have someone that can kill you. But you change your mind, wanting to foster your progeny. Then they start worshipping you as an immortal god, and you die. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. That power would be pretty cool. This would be my choice. Setting up a time loop to revert back to a specific point would be bomb, and there wouldn't really be a way for anybody to prove anything, or accurately guess the power. Loads of applications too. Want to relive that night in Vegas? No problem. Want to make a few million playing stocks? Easy. Getting old and feeling like playing new game plus? Go for it. Full penis control. Yours or others? Name checks out. To be able to mind control everyone on earth. I would tell them to never think about me, ever. Then proceed to make the world a better place. Congratulations. Now payroll completely forgets to pay you. Your friends never invite you anywhere. And your mother never calls. You've been visited by Dogaburb. 
This burb will teach you how to survive winter, but only if you comment with with give me seed. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more daily videos.